One of the best days of the year. Will you hear your name called? 32 teams have heard their name called for the 2022 NCAA Women's Volleyball Championships. One of those teams, we take you to back to Baton Rouge. What a reaction from the LSU Tigers. They are going dancing. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this is that. why this day is so much fun. Congratulations to LSU. Let's move it on. Wisconsin, the defending national champions. They are the number one seed in the top right portion of the bracket. So this will be the Wisconsin quarter four straight Big Ten titles. Their ninth on an 18 match winning streak. Their last three wins versus ranked opponents and Wisconsin ready oh, yeah. to go and do it again, right? Got their first. Moves. Yeah. Got their first title last year, and they're ready to do it again with some new personnel. So who will be facing the Badgers? It'll be Quinnipiac out of the Metro Atlantic, the automatic qualifier, their first NCAA tournament appearance. They were the number six seed in their conference tournament and took down the top seed. Pretty impressive. Also rounding out this Wisconsin quarter, TCU, the Horn Frogs, and her Jason Williams, the former Baylor assistant, has moved over to lead the Horn Frogs their first appearance in six years. They've won eight of their last ten matches, too, and their opponent, there's going to be a lot of purple in that match, the Washington Huskies, led by Keegan Cook. And Washington was expected to win the Pac-12, but they faltered, had some injuries, had to battle back, ended up finishing fourth, but they have a lot of senior leadership in LMA Powell, Claire Hoffman, a lot of experienced players. They could make a dangerous run. Next up, who is it? It's the UCF Knights out of the American, and they're third in the nation in hit percentage. Uh, yeah, because of McKenna Melville. Shout out. She leads the country in kills per set five and a half. Yale, I don't want to help you with your scouting report. Best of luck trying to stop her. And Katie just told you they'll be playing Yale. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's your job. <laughs> Uh -oh. First NCAA <laughs> tournament appearance since 2018 for the Yale Bulldogs. They defeated Brown in the Ivy League championship. And guess what? UCF a good offensive team. Yale a great defensive team. They're fifth in the nation in opponent hitting percentage. So they see your scouting report there. <laughs> UMBC, the Retrievers, their name on the board. Three straight American East titles. They swept New Hampshire. They actually led 11 to 1 in that first set. Their opponent? The Penn State Nittany Lions, the number four seed in the Wisconsin quarter, their 42nd straight appearance, the only program in every postseason. Moving on, still in the Wisconsin portion, the Wisconsin quarter, it is the Florida Gators. They shared that SEC title with Kentucky. And Florida actually has a win over Wisconsin. It was back in September, mm -hmm. but that was a big one. It was huge. And you know, they said goodbye a season ago to Marley Monterey, who is a mainstay in Gainesville in a setter position. They went out and got an incredible freshman in Alexis Stuckey, who has done a great job facilitating this offense. Just took home SEC Freshman of the Year honors. Yeah, she's impressive if you haven't seen her set too. It was beautiful in person last weekend. Their opponent will be Florida A&M, the Rattlers, out of the SWAC back-to-back -back SWAC tournament titles, led by Dominique Washington, the two-time SWAC player of the year, and they've won 18 of their last 19 matches. We stay in the Sunshine State with the Sunshine teams. FGCU out of the Atlantic Sun, their third appearance. Defeated Texas Tech last year in the first round. They've got 10 straight wins, and they'll be taking on Iowa State, the only team this season to beat Texas, who is the number one overall seed. First time with 10 conference wins since 2017. The number seven seed in the Wisconsin quarter, it is BYU. This team can absolutely light it up fifth in the nation in hit percentage, and BYU's opponent, it's going to be James Madison, the Dukes out of the Sun Belt, the automatic qualifier. They have 24 wins. That's the most since 1999, their fifth in CAA tournament appearance. Colgate, hello Raiders, back to back Patriot League titles, their seventh overall, seventh in CAA tournament appearance, and their opponent, the Pittsburgh Panthers, share the ACC title, their fourth in the last six seasons. And Pittsburgh is talented. They run a 6-2 offense. That's been the trend across the country this year. Lexis Akeo and Rachel Fairbanks run in the offense, but Serena Gray in the middle has been a great addition, as has been Courtney Bazzario on that right side, a transfer from Iowa. So you see how the Wisconsin quarter shapes up. It will be that two seed.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.